Okay, hey guys, welcome. This is a recap video of the Sunday night football game against the Bills and the Jets. Man, like during my stream last night, <laughs> this game was really, really brutal to watch. Coming into this game, the Giants had so many injuries. And the, now they got more injuries on the offensive line. And then the Buffalo Bills were coming off, off a good week of football. Where Josh Allen threw for, five, for, for four touchdowns. And ran, in, and ran one touchdown into the end zone last week. But last Thanks night... the amazing new iPhone 15 Pro. <laughs> Sean! Do you mean this one, the one with titanium? Last night, man, it should have been a blowout. It should have been a blowout with Josh Allen. But for some reason, Josh Allen could not do anything against this depleted New York Giants secondary. I mean, he only threw for a, a 169 yards. He got two touchdowns and one interception, though. And over on to the New York passing game. It wasn't even much better. Daniel Jones was out inactive because of a neck injury. So in place of Josh Allen... Some people just know there's Instead a podcast of, about that. What is this? listening to man? a podcast? Yeah, but it's about multitasking, uh, which I'm afraid to do. I get you one ear and... Maybe I should do a podcast. What Those is, are the people who... What is going on? Alright, here we go. Sorry about that. But on the other side of the ball, it was Tyrod Taylor who made the start for Dan Jones. And he was 24 of 36 attempts, 200 yards passing, no touchdown, but no interception. So right there, it should have given you a <laughs> indication of it should have been a blowout. The running game, on the other hand, it was a little bit better for the New York Giants than the Buffalo Bills too. Saquon Barkley made his start. And he had 24 carries for 93 yards. But the thing is, last night, for the first two quarters, Saquon Barkley had a 1.0 run average. He had 12 carries for 12 yards at one point of the game. And then, I don't know what it was, the running game was heating up for the Giants. Saquon was running the ball pretty well in the second half of the game. But in the first half of the game, he could not get any rushing yard because of the offensive line. Every time he tries to run, there was a guy right in front of him for a negative yard tackle. On the Buffalo side of the Ball, it wasn't that good. James James Cook only had 14 carries for 71 yards. Lamar Le'Veon Murray had 12 carries for 45 yards. So let's get to the passing game here. <laughs> the passing game can tell you a lot. The leading receiver for the leading receiver for the New York Giants was Darius Slay. He had four catches for 69 yards. Then the next guy had eight catches for 62 yards, and that was Robinson. And Darren Waller had five catches for 43 yards. On the other side, Stefan Diggs had 
uh, 10 catches for 100 yards, no touchdown. Gabriel Davis had three receptions for 21 yards and also had a fumble. And the next guy, Dawson Knox, had three receptions for 17. And the passing game was not there. They should have. I swear to God, the Bills should have had more yards of passing. Because on the giant side of the secondary, the, the, the number one corner got hurt. He went out. The other corner was out already. And they had like really bad corners in for most of the game. But Josh Allen could not take up the energy of that. For some reason, Josh Allen is not playing up to par. Yes, they did get the win. But it was because of the boneheaded mistake of Tyrod Taylor. At the end of the second quarter, they were at the goal line and they ran the ball. They had five seconds left and they ran the ball. They should have passed the ball. They could have got a touchdown. They couldn't even come away with a field goal. It would have been 12 to 7 at the half. But it, it was just that 6 to 12 at the half. It was, it was brutal. <laughs> the game was brutal. I don't know what's going on with Josh Allen. He should have had a bigger game last night. Like he was playing, he was playing the freaking New York Giants. And the New York Giants last week gave up 11 sacks to Seattle Seahawks. And I don't think Seattle Seahawks defense is that better than the Bills defense. I believe the Bills defense is a lot, way a lot better than the Seahawks. And the Bills defense could not get to Tyra Taylor. I believe did they have a sack on defense. Let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Did they have uh, one, two, three, four, five? They only had three sacks in the game. They sacked Tyler Taylor just three times. You know how terrible that is? It's just. And then the New York, Gi New York Giants have one interception. But they had zero sacks. But they did have one interception. I mean, guys, what do you think about the Buffalo Bills? Are they under, are they underachieving or is it just the new offensive coordinator or is it Josh Allen having a down ear or what is it? I really don't understand the Buffalo Bills team. I mean they're up and down, up and down. One week they're they're looking like a Super Bowl team and the other week they're just surviving. <laughs> I mean surviving. And Josh Allen is not having that great of a year. What happened to the old Josh Allen where he would run the ball if there was nothing open? He, he, he's just trying to find receivers that, that are open. Yeah, that's good too, but what happened to the scrambling game that he has? He's a big dude, but he can, he can actually scramble out of the pocket. Is it the Buffalo Bills offensive line not getting it done? Or is it Josh Allen holding on to the ball too long? 
Or is it Josh Allen just trying to sit back there and find open receiver? I don't know what it is, but something has to be done with the offense of the Buffalo Bills. Now I'm giving a pass to the New York Jets. New York. Why do I always say Jets? I'm going to give a pass to the New York Giants. Because they have way too much injuries. They were coming into the game with their second string left tackle because the, the starting left tackle got hurt last week. And last night's game, in the first quarter, the second, the second string left tackle got hurt too. So they had to put their third string left tackle on. And that was a disaster. Because Tyron Taylor was running for his life back there. And then the whole line couldn't protect the running game. Saquon Barkley was getting like tackled for negative two yard, negative three yard, negative one yard. He had no positive yards until the until the second half. <laughs> and on the other side, it looked like the Bills offensive line is horrible too. I mean coming into this game, the Giants had the worst worst defensive line in in the NFL. That's what I believe. They had the worst defense ever the worst defensive line. And the Bills offensive line made them look like they were <laughs> they were like dominant defense back there. Always getting into the backfield where Josh Allen is. And for some reason, I don't know what it is, they stopped giving the ball to the running back for the Bills. They were running the ball pretty well. And they just stopped running the ball. They could have had more yards running the ball and more touchdown, but they stopped. My final thought on this game is the I knew I knew what the Giants were, but I didn't know that the Buffalo Bills would be this bad. <laughs> this is a bad football team, and they just survived. They survived the New York Giants. <laughs> that's that that's. What I just have to say, they just survived. So, well guys, I would love to hear your thoughts on this game. What do you think about the Bills? Are they a Super Bowl contender or are they a pretender? And I would love to hear your your comments on the New York Giants too. I, I knew what the Giants were coming into this game. And yeah. Anyway, guys, I would love to hear all your comments down below. I'll get to every single comment that you write. So, and if and I'll see you tonight for the Monday night game. And like I always say, stay safe, be positive, and go pack go. And I'll see you next time. All right, you guys, you have a good day. And I'll see you tonight. Peace. I am out.